Ever since I began streaming, I've had one goal to become the largest streamer in the world. I even had a stint last year where I stayed live for an entire month, amassing tens of thousands of viewers and hundreds of thousands of subscribers, only to be beaten out by a Quebecois man known as XQC. If you don't know XQC, he's an anomaly. He averages 10 hours live every single day. He's a psychopath, an unmatched man who's determined to always be number one, and number one he always is. Look at this article that came out when I did my subathon. XQC was unsurprisingly the most watched streamer on Twitch in April 2021. Unsurprisingly? Well, today, that's all about to change. I've hatched a plan to dethrone him as the number one biggest streamer in the world. How? Simple. The moment XQC goes live, I'm also going to go live on my channel. I'll copy his secret formula bar for bar, but on a larger website, YouTube, where more people will find me and I'll become a bigger streamer than even XQC himself. The first step to cracking the code of XQC is figuring out when he's going to go live. It changes every single day and sometimes he'll be live for 10 hours or maybe even 20, 30 hours total. So I went undercover into his Discord to try to figure out that exact information. How's it going? Do you guys know when XQC will be live? Yes, he's live right now. Is that now. Ludwig, bro? Ludwig, is that you? The plan was a failure, but I was in luck. It's Sunday. Every weekend, streamers get together to play Among Us during Sussy Sundays, a real name created by actual adults. I convinced one of the key participants, Saikuno, to invite XQC to Sussy Sunday. The event starts at 2 p.m., which gives me just under two hours to become XQC. The first step in becoming XQC is getting rid of my current stream setup. Although I think it looks nice, I use a 4K camera and a complex audio system, whereas XQC has always been against having a high quality setup. I hired someone to look through 30 hours of XQC streams to figure out exactly what technology he uses. We then bought all the same exact equipment and set it up to look exactly like his current stream room. Yo, 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 what's up guys, how's it going? Cam's over here, is that right? Yeah. And yeah. then he just stares at his game? Yeah. And he looks at Chadwick like this. Yep. <laughs> Fuck! These are the two rooms side by side. Just to ensure that no one would get confused that they're watching XQC while watching my stream, I made sure to change the mountains in the background. The next step is how XQC titles his streams. He uses a combination of emojis in capital letters to convince viewers it will be an unforgettable experience. So I found emojis that resonate best with 16 to 24 year olds and crafted an almost identical title. I scheduled my stream to start at 2 p.m. ready to play Sussy Sunday alongside XQC. There was only one problem. He's three hours late. I waited around for a few hours, assuming he would be a bit late, but there seemed to be no end in sight. I went through XQC's offline chat, his Discord, and I even tried to reach out to his manager, but I still had no success in tracking him down. It wasn't until five hours later that I discovered XQC was hanging out in popular slots and gambling streamer Trainwreck TV's chat. This revealed to me that he had skipped out on the event to gamble. He eventually went live nine hours later at 11 p.m. To ensure that I would accurately mimic what makes XQC successful, I hired a technical director to watch his stream and relay what XQC was doing to me. Okay, so just relay what's happening in real time? Yeah, you know, I'll just do like 30 seconds after. Sure. Inside my headphones, I'm hiding AirPods, where he'll relay the information to me and I can copy step by step everything XQC does on stream. At the start of stream, XQC made a surprising move. He went live talking to his chat, but his microphone wasn't working. A simple technical mistake could have been a secretly genius move to seem more relatable to his audience. So I unplugged my microphone and did the same thing. Oh, I had to plug the fucking mic in. My bad. I didn't plug in my uh, microphone. It appears that XQC starts every stream updating his chat on his life and includes funny anecdotes trying to connect with his audience. 
We get the Best Buy, and we get there like one minute too late, and they're, clo and they're, they're closed. And the guard says, no, 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 no more, no more, no more. And some employee comes from the back, opens the door, and she says, let him in, let him in, let him in. And they're like, huh? And then the girl says, why? She, I'm not kidding. She says, because he's a streamer. Damn. So I did the same. I think my PC's just fried. I literally Time. created a PC setup for this. I went to Best Buy. I had to buy a PC. I had to set it up from scratch. Hi, Daddy. He switched from full cam to his default, and he's reacting to chat. He just has chat up with the uh, cam in the corner now. Is this where Atrioc leaked from? But we gotta start. We gotta watch Sorry. what's going on in the, in the world. YouTube trending. YouTube Less news. Three. He said he's gonna start. Uh, looking at YouTube trending, YouTube news to see what's going on in the world. Oh my god, dude, what I feel like I missed an in? entire day. What happened today? Let's take a look at some YouTube Can you videos. Do a shirt on head? Okay, now we got that out of the way. He's browsing r slash LSF. The amount of small creators you gave content to was amazing, just so you know. Oh, speaking of small creators, wait, maybe this is an insulting transition, but this is one of my favorite clips of all time. When I was really young, I'd have an iPod Touch, and I'd Google whatever I wanted. Smash Con production messes up. Smash Con production messes up. <laughs> what? 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 No! <laughs> no! Yes! No! He didn't! What the? <laughs> production! Production! <laughs> I haven't seen Forsen in a minute. Wow. What? Huh. Guys, what the fuck is this? So, someone in chat said, bro, your stream is on. I know. I know. I'm not. I'm not. Okay, chill. Okay, that was interesting. Uh, you act like you, you can spell it. Uh, I'm pretty decent. I, I can spell most, most things. All right, give me the website. I'll show you. Give me the website. I'll crush it, and then we can move on. He is now playing the word game Spell It on Merriam-Webster. Things became a bit more complicated when I would copy things XQC was doing that weren't normal things that streamers would do. And it's very important that I don't allow my chat to know that I'm running an experiment. If they discover I'm copying XQC, they might leave to go watch his stream instead of mine. I had to transition everything XQC was doing in a seamless way that wouldn't draw too much attention. I want to see how he transitions from watching YouTube to trying to do Merriam-Webster spell it. I don't think he can make this transition without making it obvious. Wait, I don't know like this. What is this? Is this a test for English majors? Start the quiz. Yacht, as in a yacht cruised into the harbor. Gorilla, as in guerrilla warfare. Say it faster! Spontaneous, as in spontaneous applause. Accommodate, as in the hotel can accommodate our group. Accommodate. What did I do wrong? Privilege, as in it's a privilege to meet her. I, I, I guess I did okay. Disappoint, as in that performance did not disappoint the crowd. Two peas? Holy shit, that was fucking bad. Yo, Dizzy, give me the map. I'll, I'll finish it. Okay, if I don't finish, if I don't finish this, I don't, I don't, I don't do the games. The first major hurdle came when XQC decided to do CSGO Surfing, a game I had never before played on stream. To convince my chat that this was a natural and organic idea, I fabricated a chat message suggesting that I play the game. Play GeoGuessr? What's a game we've never played before that's like a chill game? CSGO Surfing? Is it hard to surf? I feel like I'd be good at it. It's just kind of like Trek Mania in air, right? I've never surfed. I'm down to try. Did I do it? Who's the man? Who's the man? Who's the man? I'm the man. I'm the man. Launching. All right, he's launching plate up now. Still surfing. I'm trying to beat this map, and then I'm gonna try the plate up game. 
Bro, I'm so hungry, but I don't want to eat dog shit. But there's only there's nothing good here, man. Fuck, man. I want to go back to LA with all the good food, man. Fuck. Oh my god, wait. It's open. Bro, they better cook my shit. If they don't cook my shit, I will file a complaint. He's also door dashing food right now if that's something you want to do. I faced a new challenge. XQC decided to order food on stream. I've never really eaten on stream in the past. I find it to be a bit rude and I think I chew too loudly. However, to make sure I'm mimicking everything XQC does that could make him successful, I decided to order and eat alongside XQC. I want to DoorDash some shit, but what is open at this hour? Okay, I'm good. I'm done. You're done? I'm done. Okay, so then now what? I don't know. What do you want to do? Well, like Steam games? Do you want everything? So what do you think? Thoughts? 2022 is hitting us like a bag of bricks. If we're even considering this <laughs> shit. Uh, it doesn't hurt to try. Super Bunny Man? I'll play it. While waiting for food, XQC decided to play a small indie game on Steam known as Super Bunny Man, a game that has an average of 100 players every day, two of which who would be streaming with over 10,000 viewers at 4 a.m. It was too suspicious to be a coincidence, but I tried to play it off as best I could. What is a good game? Give me games, give me games, give me games, give me games, give me games. I want like a co-op game, but nothing like story-based. Super Bunny Man? Hold up, I want to see that. What is this one? Game Grumps played this? Oh, well, this looks fun. Game Grumps has played everything. This seems like a good game to burn 30 minutes, which is exactly what I'm trying to do right now. Okay, I'm gonna eat some food. I'm so hungry, you have no idea. Chai, guys, I'm gonna watch like a small video, Chai, so I can eat some food and refuel. XQC decided to watch YouTube videos while eating, so I did the same to pass the time. Good games card. Chad, what's a good video? At the end of eating his food, XQC did something surprising. Okay, chat, you guys, I, 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 I think I'm gonna go take a nap. He ended stream after only seven hours. Yeah, I thought it, it was kind of weird. This was the shortest stream XQC had done in the past three months. And somehow it was the exact stream that I decided to copy. Up to this point, there were a few people who were a little suspicious of what I'd been up to. They even called me out as an XQC copy at some points. But to make sure I was faithful to XQC's stream, I decided to mimic the most iconic part of his stream, his outro. Uh, I'm gonna call and take a nap I'm, because I'm fucked. But chat. Thanks for hanging out. We hope you enjoy your stay. He plays the same looping video and song every single day. I revealed to everyone the experiment that I was running that day. I had a guy in my ear the entire night telling me what XQC was doing and I copied bar for bar his stream to become the biggest streamer in the world. But now we're left with one question. Was it successful? My goal starting out was to copy the biggest streamer in the world in hopes of becoming the biggest streamer in the world. Before this stream, I had averaged about 20,000 viewers every single time I went live. This stream, I averaged about 12,000. Part of this could have been because I was streaming from 11 p.m. to 7 a.m., one of the worst time zones for English-speaking viewership. It'd be easy to write this off as a failure, but I noticed something reading some of the comments after I unveiled that I had been copying XQC. Turns out it was some of you guys' favorite streams, so maybe there's something to this XQC guy. There are people who are better gamers. There are people who put millions of dollars into innovative projects, and he does none of that. <laughs> Half the time, he's not even creating original content, but he's a familiar face who's always down to hang out. So no, my seven hour stream did not break records, but I think if I did that every single day, I would be a new home for people to go to. And that's what makes XQC so special. Look at his XQC stream for the entire night. Bar for bar his stream to become the biggest streamer in the world. Huge stream, new setup, a fun-filled day, yes, Pog. Okay, dude. Okay, dude.